Grade 8 Math, number 4.3b, Analyzing a Graph. We can represent real-life situations with linear relationships. We can use graphs of linear relationships to visualize and solve problems. Using the slope and the y-intercept, we can graph an equation. So remember, this is the slope-intercept form of an equation. We have y equals mx plus b, and each one of these has a purpose. This y, that's the coordinate for the y value in a table, and the x is the x-coordinate that goes with that y-coordinate. The m is the slope, it's the rise over the run, and the b is the y-intercept, it's where our line crosses over the y-axis, okay? So Bob's favorite coffee house charges $4 for a large latte and $0.50 cents for each additional shot of espresso. So the equation y equals $0.50 cents x plus 4 represents the cost of a large latte y with x additional shots of espresso. So what we can do is we can write the slope as a fraction. So we've got $0.50 cents x, so it's $0.50 cents for each shot. So if it was one shot, it's 50 cents, two shots, it's a dollar. See, three shots, it's a dollar fifty. So we write the slope as a fraction. And because this 50 cents over the one is kind of difficult to graph, we change it to an equivalent fraction of one over two, or one dollar over two shots. See? If we did two dollars over four shots, it would be even easier to graph. The larger the numbers we use, and get away from that decimal, the easier it's going to be for us. So now we've got our slope written as a fraction as 1 over 2, 1 dollar over 2. We can plot the point of the y-intercept, which is 0, 4, because we know our b is a 4. See? In the slope-intercept form, this b is that $4. So we plot the 0, 4, which is right here. Here's $4 on the 0 line. For x, here's x's line. So here's 0, 4, and we use our rise of 1 and our run of 2 to plot the second point, okay? So we've got a rise of 1 and a run of 2. So what we do is we go up 1 and we go over 2. See, here's our run. Here's our rise of 1 and our run of 2. That puts us right here. So that would put us at 1 and 4.5. See? So it's in the middle of 4 and 5, so it's 4.5. So it would be $4.50 because it's in between $4 and $5. So one shot would be $4.50, which makes sense because it's $4 for the latte and $0.50 cents for an extra shot. See? So we've got 1, 4.5 is our second point. Now all we have to do is draw a line through those two points. And we could do it again. We could do another rise and run of 1 over 2 and find the next point, and another rise and run over 1 over 2 and find the next point. And we can plot all the points and then draw a line through them, and we'd get this nice positive slope. See? And you can see in the slope-intercept form of an equation of a line how the $4.50 equals that $0.50 cents times one shot plus the four dollars for the regular latte. See? See how it fits with the equation? So now you can see what y is. It's the outcome, right? It's the output. x is how many shots, and this is how much each shot costs, see? And b is the y-intercept. It's how much the latte was, all right? So that's how we analyze a graph using the slope and the y-intercept, all right? So, we're going to talk about proportional and non-proportional situations in the next video. That's the next unit. It's all going to be that topic, proportional and non-proportional. So I made a video previously about proportional and non-proportional that I hope you saw, because I would hate for you to get lost in the next unit, okay? So if you didn't see it, maybe you need to go back a couple videos in this playlist and look for my proportional versus non-proportional, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye!